Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So in this video, I want to show you how to set up the new IKEA Home Smart Hub and give you a quick review of it. So uh, as you probably know, IKEA is really big into smart home devices. They have smart blinds, uh, smart bulbs and switches and uh, and uh, recently they're getting into like air quality sensor and that kind of stuff in there. And then one thing that's kind of a downside of all IKEA stuff is that they require their own hub. Uh, it's not going to use your Wi-Fi. Um, it's not using Bluetooth. So everything have to go through their own hub. So you have to buy a hub in there. Uh, now, I, I've been using their old hub for several years. So I think I bought their old hub like about uh, four or three years ago because uh, uh, I'm a big fan of their smart blinds. And... Uh, I, I don't really have much a problem of it and uh, I actually plan to use it, uh, keep using it and uh, wasn't really planning to buy this expensive new hub because it's actually much more expensive than whole old hub now. However, then I noticed that um, most of the new product from IKEA now require their new hub now. It's like forcing me to upgrade. Uh, for example, recently I want to use your new air quality sensor and then the sensor won't work with old hub. So that's why uh, I have to upgrade and then I want to see, I want to show you how I'm going to set it up and transfer all of, all of my old devices into this uh, new hub. So uh, one thing uh, I'm looking at this um, seems like uh, certainly it needs power. It uses uh, USB-C. Um, so it comes with a plug and the cable. You plug it in and then it does require a hardwire like Ethernet connection. Um, so you're going to have to uh, go to your um, either router and plug it in in there. If you don't have enough ports on your router, you may have to buy a switch. So, all right, next step, I'm going to go to my downstairs and plug it in and show you how to uh, set it up. All right, so I'm in my basement now and I just got this hub connected. Um, so the Ethernet cable is on and then the power cable is on and there's a solid circle in there. So one thing I want to mention is it's actually using a different uh, app than the old one and then somehow they just simply call their old app as ikea home smart one dumb name it used to be just ikea home smart now since they have this <laughs> new app now called ikea home smart um, they just simply um, call their old app as ikea home smart one in there so make sure you download the old app a uh, new app because the old app uh, is not working with the new hub so Anyway, I have the new uh, new uh, app now, so it asked me to get things connected, powered on, um, wait for the ring light to make a full circle. It's solid, right? And uh, so I'll click next. Um, the ring light will pulse. Well, my light is not. Oh yeah, it's actually pulsing. So. My, um, see, it's, it's kind of going like a flashing. It's stronger and weaker. I'm not sure if you can see it from the video. All right. And then my hub is ready. Looking for nearby hubs. So one thing I kind of worry about, uh, this new hub, I may run into the same situation with new old hub is, uh, it's not, uh, Based on, well, they said we find your hub, but then not responding. Uh, all right, disconnect and reconnect. I will do that. Their app is not based on the account. Um, so it's like I'm not gonna able to set up account or or share account with other people. It's just like my phone directly connect to the hub. So um, I'm not sure how I can have other family members to communicate to the same hub, which I have had the same issue with my the old IKEA hub. So all right, uh, try again.
So we said we find your hub, and then it is trying to um, update to the latest software. And you are welcome to close app while waiting. And then you can see down here it's a zero percent complete. So uh, I feel like I may have to wait here for a little bit. Uh, showing um, 80, 93% now, so we're almost there. Oh, I don't know why it's back to 0% now. Now installing is 0%. So it's almost there, 94%. Now, I, I've heard a lot of complaint about their old hub, about devices being disconnected and all that stuff. I was fine with that. Uh, I mean, there are sometimes uh, my smart blinds got disconnected or lights, but that happens usually at the most one time a year. And then whenever that happened, I just kind of restart the device and then that will reconnect automatically so it doesn't really bother me that much so i really don't know what's wrong with their old hub and uh, if not for the new device i want to buy uh, i'm probably not gonna upgrade and i really wish they have uh, some trading program so that i can get some money back for the old hub It says 100% complete installation. Oh, now there's a rebooting. Okay. One thing I kind of worry about is... Um, um how to um like migrate all of my devices into this new hub i have about 20 smart home devices in my house like ikea smart home devices uh, mostly they are um, smart blinds and i have a couple of lights um and uh um like a sw switch and uh, not switches like plugs um and then uh, I kind of worry about having to do all the work to um, rebooting, to have to manually reconnect everything. So we'll see how my experience is. I don't understand why they I can't why they can't just provide an easier migration tool to transfer everything from old to new. Now, if you look at the hub itself, I think it's all set. You see this rain is really solid now. It's not really flashing. Um, but then it just on the app is still showing rebooting. And then it seems like it's having trouble to even connect to the hub. I think it just their software you see very glitchy. Um Let me just um, try to restart the app and let's see, reconnect. All right, update complete. Uh, your hub has latest software and ready to use. Yeah, next. 
time to confirm your hog. Oh, okay, I have to press a button. Interesting. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, all right. So if you look at the back side of this hub, there is a reset button, like a hole. You have to um, use a pin, but then there's act the there's like a button in here. I have to push. So uh, I don't know why it says press the action button on the back of the hub to confirm it as a part of your smart home system. It's interesting, right? I thought the moment I made the purchase, uh, I confirm it. And now it's not working. Right. Yeah, it is action button. Do I have to long press it? And by the way, it seems like they provide a mounting solution. So if you want to... Um, mount it, then there's a hole here. Time to confirm your hub. All right. Confirm. All right. Your hub has been added. <laughs> Next. Give your home a name. Okay. I don't know why I need a name to my home. I'm going to call it my home. Add some rooms. Okay. Um. I heard this is a well of the up upgrading in this app is um you can organize everything by room now because previously they are organized by groups like blinds group, lights group. Uh now you can finally use uh mm -hmm. use this uh room now, all right. I'm gonna select everything and done. Your smart home is ready. So, all right, I have all my room and I said add a product to your room. And I think this is the place where you have to add uh, uh, different smart home devices one by one, lights, remote and sound, blind. Um, unfortunately, I'm not seeing any way um see i'm not seeing any way to um like get um all my old devices in there so added um uh, added hub version power and setting follow sunset sunrise integrations to any third party to alexa yeah so that's it so I'm not really seeing any convenient way to say migrate everything to from old hub to new hub. So um, really the only way is I'm going to have to add everything one by one, which I have 20 of them. It might take me forever. Um, but then this is a kind of the customer experience IKEA is offering to you. <laughs> so, uh, all right. So I guess that's uh, kind of everything I want to mention about the new hub. Um, it, it kind of looks better with all the colors compared to old hub. Um, and then, but one thing I really hate is I have to add everything one by one. And uh, the main reason I bought this hub is I want to use their newer uh, smart home devices, which is not compatible with old hub anymore. Uh, for example, the first thing I bought is the uh, air quality sensor. So in my next review, I want to show you how I link the air quality sensor to the hub and my experience with their new quality sensor. But then before that, I'm going to have to worry about how do I um, connect all my 20 devices into the new hub. All right. Thank you for watching my video. If you like my video, please subscribe to my channel.